Hi, welcome to Fall Friday. I hope you can hear me with the river behind me. But what I wanted to point out to you is something really lovely to look at this weekend, is if you're out and about, particularly in areas that are very wet and damp, my friends in Argyll and Butte on the west coast of Scotland, we have, coming up at the moment, are the fruiting bodies or the spore capsules of our mosses, or some of our mosses. And they're just really lovely to look at. And if you get your hand lens out, you can see some of them they look like they have little pixie hats. So um, what we have is we have the, 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 moss, with the moss plant, if you like, with all its leaves, which is actually its haploid state, which is, means it's only got one set of chromosomes. And then it produces what's called a sporophyte, which are these long, tall, in this case, with this particular moss, these long, tall, tiny stalks, which are called seta, with a spore capsule on the top. And on top of the spore capsule, on this one, on this one, there's a little cap, which is the leftover of the female reproductive part of the, the moss, which is just left. And as the spore capsule gets ripe, it will blow away. It's a kind of very bract-like pixie cap. And then underneath is a spore capsule, which there are various ways that the spores get dispersed, but one is that as it dries out, the condensate, as it dries out and then becomes moist again, there's a kind of a pulse and it pushes the spores up out of what's called the boundary layer, which is the area where the mosses live, up into where it can catch the wind and travel far through the woodlands. Mosses actually live in many different habitats, not just woodlands. And whilst they are, are, are dependent on water, they can survive out of water for quite a considerable amount of time and then they just need to get rehydrated and then off they go again. So mosses are our first plants on land, very closely related to algae. So they don't have a vascular system, which means that they don't have an internal structure that pump water up and down or take food from photosynthesizing down into the roots. Because they don't have roots, they just have what's called rhizomes. So they get their, their nutrients, if you like, from the minerals, minerals are basically in the water within which they, which they capture from the rain and around themselves, around them. From an ethnobotanical point of view, mosses are just so important. They create peat bogs, and peat bogs are really important for carbon sequestration, and so we need to really preserve our peat bogs. In fact, mosses were, um, there was some research that came out of the Uni University of Exeter that said that mosses, when they first came on land around 450 million years ago, were potentially what caused our first ice age. And that was to do with how much carbon dioxide was being drawn out of the atmosphere as a result of the mosses, yeah, and, and actually put, put the world into its first ice ages, which actually we could do with a bit of cooling down on the planet right now. So. We do need to look after our mosses. Another ethnobotanical use of mosses historically has been because they absorb water so much, they have been used to blocking pipes and drains. So the Romans were known to use them for um, blocking leakages in pipes, for insulation of houses or of huts. And in the Second World War, it was collected as a wound dressing. And it was not known to be anti antiseptic. Now, there's not actually a chemical within the moss that gives its antiseptic properties, but apparently it's something to do with how it changes the environment around it that makes it slightly acidic that actually makes it antiseptic. And we know that because mosses create peat bogs and peat is very acidic. And that's what also helps um, keep wounds more sterile. So if you get a chance, get out this weekend, have a look at your mosses, see if you can find the sporophyte, which is the seater with a little spore capsule on the top on some of our mosses, and enjoy!